Hey guys, neat little setup I found here of how a turbine engine works. So I'll give you a quick rundown real quick. Up here is where your prop would mount to. And right here is what you call a governor. And it limits the power to the prop so something would happen. Um, kind of works like a transmission in your car, sort of. So if you adjust the prop pitch, uh, you can spin the prop faster or slower and angle the pitch of the blades to determine the torque you want to apply to the motor. But a traditional fighter jet plane, air comes in the front, spins a fan blade, and the air gets compressed by a series of compressors is what they call here. So the air com gets compressed ever so much until it's highly, the temperature highly spikes and you introduce fuel and spark and it explodes and as it makes an explosion it turns the output shaft of fans which in turn makes the engine run and produces your power. Well here it's a little different. You can see this as pointed in red is the exhaust but air actually comes in here for efficiency. It's compressed by these fan blades here fuel is ignited this fan blade here is just to keep the engine turning so it returns these to make them go and then these here are your actual power suppliers and you can up the power or limit the power by how many of these blades you want to put in there and then the exhaust is then taken out through the back and how to start one of these engines this one here is small enough it can be started with a traditional electric motor most of them compressed air is needed to turn these fan blades to start the combustion process. And that is where a GPU or ground power unit is used to start the engine. Most typical airliners or fighter craft engines use that concept. But this is more of your commercial, industrial, high efficiency turbine engine. Pretty neat.